Okay, and up next, let's take a look at the string includes method, which checks whether a string contains another string. And where this sucker is useful, if you want to set up some search functionality based on text. So if you have a list of products, and if you want the search box where the user can type some text, and they will get back results, that's where includes gets the job done. So let's navigate back and take a look at the basic example, where I'm going to create a const and then first name and that one will be equal to john. If we want to use includes, we'll just look for a variable, then includes and then we just pass in the string. So if we pass in the first two characters, if we log it, we should see in a console the result. And you know what, let me just assign this one to your result here. So result and let's right away. Also log the sucker here. And yep, it is true. Now, if we will change this around, and if let's say, I'm going to go with Peter, of course, the value will be false. Now this one is case sensitive. So if you'll go with uppercase, it's still going to be false. And I'll showcase how we can fix that. Once we take a look at the more interesting example. And also, I want to mention that we can add optional parameter, which just sets up where we start the search. So if we go here with comma, notice it right away tells me the other argument, which is a position It is a number. And it starts with zero. So by default, it's going to start with a first character. But if I'll change this around, and if I'll say one, now my value still be false, even though technically, the letter is in this string. Hopefully this is clear. So now let me comment the sucker out, I'm going to go above my result here. And instead, let's go with const and product. So now let me just create a object, just so we can see that of course, we can use that on a property as well. And you know what, in order to speed this up, I already set up some titles over here, which we'll cover in a second. So let me copy and paste. And now let's do the same thing, where we'll assign the result to whatever we have in the object. So in this case, we are looking for product, then title, and then we go with includes. And then again, we can pass in whatever values we want. And again, just to showcase if I'm going to go with proper casing, it is going to be true. However, if I'll mess this up, notice our value will be false. So now let's take a look how we can set up an awesome functionality where we can get some kind of text and check whether any of these titles include that text. So for now, here's what I want to do. I want to select all of this comment out for your reference. And let's get cracking where effectively I have list of products and I didn't add any more properties. I just have a title. So now let's filter them based on whatever text. And again, we need to imagine that that text will be provided dynamically. But our functionality is not going to change where we're going to go with text here. And I'll say ad for now. And then let's go with const. And let's call this filtered and products. Now that is equal to product. So that's my array, then let's use filter method. And let's pass in that callback function over here. Now I'll reference each and every item as a product. And then what am I looking for over here? Well, I want to get the title. But I also want to fix the casing issue. How we can do that? Well, we can set up right away return. And look, if you want, we can actually remove the curly braces, we don't need them. We simply can go here with product, then dot. Now we're looking for the title property. And before we do anything, before we run includes, let's also set it up to lowercase right away. And then we can add includes. Essentially, I'm just showcasing that, of course, we can chain both methods in this case. So let's go here with includes. And now let's pass in the text. So if this will evaluate to true, then we'll return the item. 
If not, then we won't. And now, if I take a look at the filter products, I believe I shouldn't see anything in the console. So let me go here with filter products. And yep, I have empty array. However, if I'll just change this around to a now you'll notice that I have three items, because these three items have the letter, in this case, a in the title. So that's how we can use string includes method.